So we are on our way to Grants Pass right now. I guess, you know, first of all, we actually just finished an hour of our of a new Incompetent Gamer series, which by the way, for all of you guys that have been watching and following that one video, we're very thankful for it, and I promise you we'll be putting out a whole lot more as long as what happened today doesn't continue to happen. See, we spent an entire hour of recording it just raw footage between getting an actual camera set up so you guys could see our faces to getting all of the audio from the game and the video from the game and the audio through our microphone set up and what happened was after we finished all of the recording an hour later we jumped off and and here's the problem is we made sure everything was working ahead of time and it was set up exactly the same way it was with our first video uh, but as soon as we disconnected and removed all of the audio hardware and uh, transferred the files into the editing software, we noticed that all of the audio from our voices was silent. There, there was actually no audio recorded at all. And we weren't sure if maybe it just hadn't been turned up enough through the microphones or not, but I was reading up and I was using Audition, Adobe Audition to record record it <laughs> and uh, it looks like they have a bug that still has yet to be patched at least with the version I'm using where the audio is just at, at times very randomly exported silently and there's no fixing it because it was actually recorded that way too which makes no sense to me I don't understand why it did that um, and unfortunately in my case I didn't save the raw files to go back and edit later because we were kind of in a hurry to finish recording it before we got on the road. And yet, instead we decided we would just scrap that, we'd try again later, and now here we are on the road to Grants Pass, looking to pick up a desk. We moved into our new home, and uh, we are slowly but surely unpacking and making progress on setting up the rooms, and this is just a desk that will go into our music studio room slash office and finally get it livable. So anyway, we are gonna go pick that up. Someone's selling it for a really great price along with an office chair. And once we get it back, right now the room that it's going into just has a bunch of crap piled up in there, a bunch of hardware and uh, equipment and musical instruments stacked up against the wall and on the floor. So we're hoping to be able to get that in there and as soon as it is, be able to move forward with setting the rest of the room up and actually being able to use it regularly. The only other thing I'm missing to really jump back into music recording is getting some sound treatment and soundproofing up on the walls. Uh, so really it's going to be more of an office and or digital workspace until we get some some sound treatment in there so that we can record some external instruments. A Jeep Renegade, a cute little silver one. Um, and we are going to have to fit this desk that I don't know if it collapses or not within oh this tiny space along with a rolling office chair. So that'll be an adventure in and of itself. We have 37 minutes. We should be arriving around 2.40 to our location. And technically we don't have to be there till three, so you know what that means. <laughs> Food time. So every time we come to a place like Jack in the Box, Emily asks for sweet and iced tea, and sometimes they don't give it to her, sometimes it's sweet. It's good. Nice. It's not. Nice. I got Coke because I'm addicted to soda. So we used to live on that hill, the one that is at the very, very end of the camera frame. <laughs> Dakota's sad. He misses being out here. He doesn't miss driving out here every day, but he misses being out here. We lived on the very top. You can't really see the cell phone towers because the camera is such a wide angle, but we were up there and it would snow at like just our house because it was one of the taller hills in the whole area. So it was There's beautiful. There's rocks that we looked over. Yeah, we looked right over top of them. Very lovely. It's good times. We made it to Grants Pass and we have a 
two to your desk back We've there. Secured the package. <laughs> and we have an office chair stacked on top of the two to your desk and our lovely little renegade. We were successful. It came with a lot of pleasurable open wounds on He's my feet. He's bleeding. I was carrying it and I smashed my foot like five times against the metal on it. And there's blood. But that's okay. Totally worth it. We'll be super stoked to get it home set it up. We were this close to it not fitting in the car. Literally. Literally that literally close. Literally we were able to lift it up and kind of wiggle it in. <laughs> inside. And now it's there, but oh, I was really close. Emily was just saying on the way here, so like, what, what if it doesn't fit? And he told me he wasn't going to think about that. Just didn't want to think about it. I feel like either way we would have been desperate enough that we could have found some tools and we taken it apart. We would have strapped it yeah. to the top or something. <laughs> Currently, I am trying to cut some carpet here. We are uh, officially back home with the desk for the music studio room as well as a chair, but I realized to be able to move anywhere with it, I don't want carpet in the whole room, but under my drum kit that I have in the room, there is uh, no padding, no traction, and so the only way it really sticks down is with Velcro. And so I need to actually have something for it to stick to. So I'm going to cut out a small square of carpet for this to actually go under the drum kit and for the Velcro to adhere to so that it's not sliding around every time I try to play it. Emily is attempting to soundproof the room herself at this point. She wants this wooden piece to be hanging in the room, so she figured she'd fill it with some styrofoam to try to insulate the sound a bit. It's messy. Very, very messy. So we've officially finished putting the room together. Here is my drum set with that sweet piece of carpet underneath. I actually had to recut it because my first cut was an embarrassment to society. And we have uh, the microphone set up here with the pop filter and the music stand. We are actually planning on putting at least some corner soundproofing there so that we can sing into the corner and it not be bouncing back at us. Like I said originally, this is just going to be an office for now until we get the sound treatment because it's not going to be in any way usable with external instruments because it's so echoey in here. It's going to bounce off every wall. But we have a nice setup here with the MacBook and the monitors. We'll have some soundproofing up here behind it so that it's not reflecting there. And then we'll have my keyboard here, well, Emily's keyboard, um, <laughs> our keyboard, here um, whenever it's not being used at the church. And then I have a whole closet and a, full of, you know, instruments, but also my cat who's chasing a little spider right now. But tons of instruments that I still need to put on racks and get set up in some way or another. I'm not sure how I'm going to fit all of it, but my idea is to possibly have one more rack kind of enclosing in a U-shape the chair and having at least five to seven instruments just lined up there that I can immediately grab, plug in, and record straight into the Mac with. As for the drum kit, I'll have to kind of work something out. I gotta get longer chords because right now nothing really reaches. I've got everything set up there and none of these instruments have chords, not even the microphone there, you see that's hanging down right around there. It won't even reach to the necessary hardware. 
So I'll be definitely shopping for some longer pieces, but otherwise it's coming together rather well and I'm pretty stoked to see where it goes. This is Emily's piece that she had filled in with all the styrofoam and now let us worship and kneel before the Lord. It is there proclaiming its amazing news to all that enter. Well, Emily's at work now and I'm sitting here bored by myself. So I think I'll probably edit some videos, try to get something up online here soon, and uh, probably go play some video games and get a Coke slushy. It's something you'll learn about me as I'm addicted to them. So anyway, thank you for joining us today. My name is Dakota. Um, we are going to be doing more like this. This is the very first vlog we've ever done. So it's a totally new thing for Emily and I both and uh, kind of just getting over the idea that we're not just talking to a camera, but we're talking to an audience of people who are willing to hang out with us for the day through their screens. That's really a cool thing, and it's nice that we're able to kind of take you with us on our little adventures, and I, I promise you, they will be getting bigger and bigger. We've had several moments that we've been thinking about just as we started doing this vlog that we wish, wish we had recorded to show you, but uh, we're hoping to be able to kind of just keep the camera everywhere we go and uh, almost like a reality TV show, just record any epic moments that might occur. So hang in there with us. If you haven't already, like and subscribe. I'll throw up a couple video, actually only the one video at the end of this one. Um, if you haven't already seen it, it's our first video game video that Emily has made. And uh, the next time we get that Incompetent Gamer series out and going, I will show you also a little bit of the back behind the scenes um, of how we set it up, what we have to do, and hopefully it will work and we can pump some more of those out pretty soon as well. Um, so anyway, like, comment, let me know what you think. Uh, if you're looking for anything specific, we'd be happy to hear from you. Alright, thank you.